Wanna know what time it is? 2.30. I realized I haven't done a video about my name yet and about how I picked it, which is like such a fun story that people love to hear, so I thought I'd tell it. I, as many others before me, had a pretty extensive list of names that I wanted to pick from. I would have been 12 or 13 while I was figuring this out. Um, so Ash was definitely on there because I loved Pokemon. I think some of the other ones were like Logan, Lucas, Skylar, Owen might have been on there for a while. So I had this list of names I was looking at. I was trying to narrow it down. And I called my dad into the room, who I was out to at this point. I was out to both my parents. Um, my dad was just in a better place to like talk about name stuff at that point. Uh, and I showed him the list and I was like, what do you think? How, how do you like these names? And he looked at it. Uh, none of them really stuck with him. Um, not that he was saying I couldn't pick one, um, but he goes, well, you know, I wanted to name you Kelly when you were born, if you had been born a boy. <laughs> so what do you think of Kelly? Uh, and I thought about it for a minute, but I knew a girl named Kelly at the time, so I was like, nah, that doesn't really work for me. Uh, and he goes, well, what about K and C names that are Irish, but with like a hard C, so like K names that are Irish, because he, he had Irish heritage. And I was like, sure, let's do it. So we go on a baby naming website, we type it up, we saw Keith and thought Keith O'Keefe would be very hilarious, and I definitely considered it for a minute because it was very unique sounding. So we were scrolling through all these names, nothing was really sticking, and then Connor came up, and he was like, oh, I kind of like that. And I was like, yeah, I like that too. And that was it. That was the story. <laughs> My mom picked the middle name Lee, uh, and that was how I went to high school. That's who I am. The reason I tell this story uh, is that I feel like there's a lot of pressure that can come with picking a name. And honestly, when I went to high school and found out there were like five other Connors in my grade, I felt a little, there was some regret in there. There was some, oh God, I should have picked something more original and interesting or like something that meant more to me. I don't know. I think a lot of people, um, myself included, get really afraid of what others are gonna think about you when you're picking a name. I mean, I didn't even consider the possibility of picking a name shared by anybody in the family or anybody I knew because I was afraid they were gonna feel like I was stealing their name or if they didn't agree with my transition, that was gonna be this whole thing and it was gonna have this like really negative mark on that relationship and on that name. But names are a weird thing and they're a weird thing. They are a collection of syllables um, that signify you. And you know, sometimes they have a history or a tradition or a, a meaning to them, but like who, pff, I think my name means wolf lover, which is awesome because I love dogs, but I also know so many people who the origin of their name is like, you know, child of God, but their parents aren't religious. They were like, we picked this name because we liked it, or we picked this name because your, your aunt, whoever had it, and we liked her, so. Like, there are a million different ways people pick a name. And at the end of the day, even though when I first went to high school, there was some of this, oh man, I should have picked something more interesting, more unique. Um, I've really grown to love my name. Looking back at that list that I used to have, I think about all those names and I think about the way I perceived them as a kid. For each of them, I had a different picture of who I was gonna be and what I was gonna do. Logan was like a, a cool kid. I, <laughs> literally, I remember picturing and thinking, oh, I'm gonna be so suave and that's such a like chill name and people are gonna think I'm so cool. Or Skylar was like a really artsy name. It's like if I go into uh, film or painting or writing, I should pick a name like that. It's unique and sounds interesting. But when my dad and I first saw the name Connor and we looked at it, it, nothing came up. There wasn't an image of here's who that person is gonna be or here's what that version of myself looks like. It was just a blank slate. And while that wasn't the reason why I picked the name, I think I just kind of picked it because it worked. Uh, and once I had it, it was just like, ah, crap. Like it just, it stuck like glue. But over time, looking back on it and realizing that I didn't have any perceptions tied to that name and what that name could mean, meant that I got to decide what that name means. There is a beautiful quote from Doctor Who, because I'm a huge nerd, uh, that I'm gonna throw in right here. Then there's other people and you meet them and you think, not bad, they're okay. And then you get to know them and and their face just sort of becomes them. Like their personalities written all over it. And they just, they turn into something so beautiful. And I love that line about getting to know somebody and their name becoming them. The more I got to know myself, the more I grew, the longer I lived my life as Connor, the more I got to decide what that name meant and what people thought of when they hear that name. 
I mean, there are some beautiful names out there, but I've known terrible people who had those names and now it just sounds awful to me. And vice versa, there are some names that a lot of people would say, well, that's kind of a funny sounding name. But I knew somebody who's absolutely incredible that had that name and I hear it now and I'm like, that's a gorgeous name. What are you talking about? We put so much pressure on that initial choice of a name. Um, you know, I think there's this fear of picking the wrong one or picking one people are gonna judge or one that you're not gonna like in the future. But at the end of the day, it's just a jumble of sounds, a bunch of syllables and a bunch of letters. The one who gives it meaning is you.